Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Coach Ben, welcome to the channel. Today's video, something slightly different than the usual coaching videos. I was inspired by soccer reviews for you at the Boot Wizard and a few people on Instagram. They do this boot pickups of 2020. They typically have five boot selections that boots that they were able to get during 2020. Some of the requirements and, and I guess kind of the rules is you aren't able to just go into any kind of regular store and pick them up. They have to be sourced. Sourced is another word for getting them in an untraditional way. So eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, um, boot sellers that sell rare boots, anything of those sorts, trading for boots, it just can't be a traditional method of buying. So for me, I have one, two, three, four, five of my boot selections that I was able to pick up during 2020. Two of them have multiple pairs included. One thing that I wanted to conclude, I am an, a small boot collector, nowhere near like some of these guys out there. I don't buy boots that are re released very often. I typically only buy boots that I can wear and that have some kind of meaning or sentimental value to me. I'm not opposed to buying used cleats as long as they're not like, I, mean, I would never buy a pair that's destroyed just to have the pair. So I, all of these cleats that I have, I've worn them at one point during 2020 to kind of bring back those memories for me. And that's kind of the groundwork for me. So all of my selections, they mean something to me and I've had the original version at one point in my life. That's the reason why I went out and got them again. So all of these boots have a little bit of a backstory, except the first one. The first one is the Nike Magista Opus 2 from the World Cup pack. Now, the reason I had this boot included in here, they were used slightly. I wore them in 2020 for a few weeks. There's no separation from the sole and the upper. The reason I have them in here, because I got them for $15 off of eBay. That's right, $15. You can still see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but you can still see the insole has the writing Nike Grip Elite or whatever it's called. That's why number five is in there, solely for the fact that I got them for $15. That's probably one of my cheapest deals that I ever got in 2020 and I'm so excited because I like the Kangalite material. It reminds me of the old CTRs. Uh, I actually have a pair of CTR 360s currently and the Kangalite material feels identical. So that's why number five is the Nike Magista Opus 2 in the World Cup colorway. Number four has two boots. Um, the first one being the Nike Total 90 Laser 4 in this dark charcoal and mango red colorway. This boot was special to me in a way because I've always kind of been on the T90 Mercurial Vapor train and this was the only model of Total 90 that I skipped. I had all the other ones, but this one right here, I never had the Laser 4. Now, you can see the little bumps. A few of them are missing from the right boot, but the left boot has a majority of them in there. These I got for about $50 off of a Mercari. I was super excited to get these. The insole still has all of the writing on it. You're not gonna be able to see that. But for $50, I couldn't say no. These are still super hard to find, especially if you're trying to find a really, really good condition um, version. So I'm super excited to get those. I haven't worn them yet. I tried them on, they fit perfect. I'm just, uh, I don't know if I'll ever wear them, but I have them in my collection. I'll probably will end up wearing them eventually, but we'll see. The second one in number four is the takedown model, but I still love the colorway. I, I love the concept that Nike went with this particular boot. I'm talking about the Nike Total 90 Strike. This is the takedown model, the first takedown model of Nike series. This one was the Laser 2, I believe, or Laser, yeah, Laser 2, with the Total 90 little circular strike pads where, according to Nike, you're gonna hit this particular area. This is your strike zone where all of these little bumps are gonna give you some kind of different reaction and spin. I got these for $40 off of eBay. I went with the takedown model just because it was 40 bucks. That was, that's the exact reason why. But I also got it because I had the Total 90 laser 
in high school, I actually had this colorway right here, probably my favorite boot of all time, along with the Vapor 3. The takedown model with the precision swerve pattern right here, it's still similar to the Total 90 version, which is what I went for and the reason why I got these. Now, the biggest difference for me between modern day cleats and past cleats is the weight. These are ridiculously heavy compared to all of these other cleats that I have that are modern. It's outrageous how heavy these things are. But I love the colorway. I will wear these periodically just to kind of bring back that uh, little bit of nostalgia from being in high school and, and wearing the Total 90s. So 40 bucks, eBay, can't go wrong. Number three was actually the first high collared, Nike's collared sock boots that I got but it's not these, but this is the Nike Total 90 Stealth Pack, Magista Obra One. I had this particular colorway, and like I said, this was the first knitted sock one that I had. I always wanted the pair of the Stealth Pack, but they're just so hard to get, and they're so expensive if you wanted something that is in good condition. Now for me, I got very, very lucky. The woman was actually just selling her son's old cleats. I got them on Mercari. I ended up getting them for $35. I don't know if she knew what she had, but I'm not gonna argue with her. The only flaw that I have found is on the left boot. The laces are a little, the caps are missing, but there's this little piece right here that's a little bit of separating. You don't notice it. It's probably what happened to any boot. So for $35, I'm not complaining. This particular model, Ugh, I can't say enough about it. I do wear these and I've worn them in 2020 just because the feeling from the Magista Obra One was something that I had never felt before. Um, just the lockdown feeling of it and the material that they have was so unique. That's why I continue to wear it. But Nike Magista Obra One in the Stealth Pack colorway. This is number two, the Adidas F50 Leather Audi Zero. It's actually a boot that I've shown pretty recently. I got these for $50 off of Facebook Marketplace. Now, like I said in the original video, I had the Memories Lane video. I wore these in college. I had the black and green, this little picture here. But when I had the opportunity to get the original F50, I just couldn't pass it up. I drove about an hour and a half to get them and I do not regret that drive at all. My wife does, but I do not. For 50 bucks, this guy, I don't know if he knew what he had or did not, but there's zero separation from the sole to the upper. The leather looks barely worn because there's no creases. And traditionally, so when you bought these boots, they came with their own little leather balm uh, rub that you actually needed to put on the leather in order to preserve it once you've worn it. The fact that the leather, it's still soft, shows me that these were not used. Traditionally, the leather would get really, really stiff and you needed to use that leather, that leather softener to keep it nice and fresh. But still, this is number two on my top five, the Adidas F50 Leather Audi Zero. So number one is a boot that, when it first came out, I, I didn't get it because I guess, I, I don't know why I didn't get it when it first came out. I had a pair of these and to be honest, I just don't think I gave it the right attention and the right effort. I didn't really put a lot of time in the boot. I didn't really give it a chance, but I'm talking about the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom One. This particular colorway, I still wear currently when I do training sessions. Um, so I've actually made it a little worse that have caused a little more separation right there. But this particular colorway, was launched in alongside their high visibility theme that Nike has um, with the volt yellow and the uh, the purple colorway. It's meant to be more visible during wintry conditions and give you, I guess, a little bit of a, an advantage, kind of like the high visibility balls that they have. But this particular colorway, I like I said, I still wear and I think I just, I gave it the right amount of time and I was able to, you know, it kind of moved up in my ranks of boots that I continually rotate through. 
So I'm pretty excited that I, I got an original pair. I had this pair and although I love this colorway and I would love to get it back, I think I finally gave this enough attention that this is probably one of my favorite cleats of all time. Now, number one has two picks in there and the other one is the original launch colorway of the same model. This is the black and orange Hyper Venom Phantom 1 with a honeycomb pattern. Truly, truly, truly a gorgeous cleat. I do not wear these <laughs> just because I don't want to. Um, I think I will actually maybe one day just make a video of some kind comparing them to um, some modern boots. The boots that do get associated with the Hyper Venom Phantom 1 are the new Phantom GTs just because of the, the material, uh, the honeycomb pattern, it kind of feels similar to it. I have my own opinion about that. I don't necessarily think it's, um, it has its, it ha I guess it has its similarities, but honestly for me, I, don't, I wouldn't say that they are equal boots. But anyway, number one is two pairs of the Nike Phantom Hyper Venom 1. Just a gorgeous boot. The story behind these, the person that I bought them from I got them off of eBay for $50. They do have a little bit of an odor, which makes me think that they were in storage. Um, obviously not in the best condition. The insoles are Predator insoles. And there's just a funky odor. <laughs> um, but it's starting to fade out as, I, as I've cleaned it more and more. So anyway, this is the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 1. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below which, which of the five picks you think were the best in 2020. Like I said, I'm only a noob when it comes to collecting boots. I don't do it regularly. Um, I only collect boots that I know I have some kind of value to me or sentimental value. I got all of my boots from Mercari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and just trading in general. Um, that's where I get all of my cleats. I very rarely buy new releases, but when I do, I only buy ones that I know I'm really gonna enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment down below, which is your favorite. If you guys did cop any boots in 2020, drop a comment down below which ones you picked up. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.